Welcome back to the channel. My name is Mateo Blanco and let's go over what happened in the market today. All right, check this out. Let's get over here to the S&P 500. So we just kind of steadily, we went up in the morning initially and then we broke down and then we just kind of steadily climbed the whole day. So if you're just joining, this is the 13 minute chart I have up today, a daily, a weekly and a monthly chart. Okay, so essentially we just kind of went up to sideways all day. We kind of made a nice um, lower lows or lower highs and higher highs, right? So that means we were kind of stair stepping the whole day. Now there was little pullbacks here and there and whatnot, but also Tesla hit its lowest point since like 2020. So I want to show Tesla's chart real quick. Um, let's look at November and December 2020. So Tesla broke the candle uh, the beginning of December and kind of hit the mid candle of November and then these two tops. So something about candle tops and middle of candle, this is a lot of resistance area right here because we hit that on the monthly chart. And so this could be a, um, a strong um, kind of bounce area because we're at the halfway point of this November candle. We're at these two tops in November, uh, September and August of 2020. And then we're close to this lower band and the 50 day. Now we can hit this lower band of 158, 154, and then this 200 day moving average on the weekly of 161. But this is and could be the low we saw today, 166. So if we do get that Santa Claus rally, there's only a few more days here or there for Tesla to really pop and make a new low um, in the 150s or uh, 161. Uh, so let's see if that happens. But as you can see, Tesla's been sliding for quite a few days. I mean, I mean, look, it was at 236 just on November 1st, and now we're at 166. So almost a hundred dollar move, about seventy dollar move in just uh, let's say give or take. 10 trading days. So that's a big move. So let's be um, on the lookout for that, right? That a big move already happened. Let's see if we can recover from this 166 low. We need to look for a 3X on the on the daily or the 233 half day chart going up. Okay. Uh, another thing I wanted to bring up recently is something that I saw is just the craziness of this market being where it's going straight up and straight down. So I mean, it, you can see it on some names here. Let's pull up Meta. Um, you know, we had this big rise in the pandemic and then this kind of like, look at that Eiffel Tower move, right? Eiffel Tower, right? And that's when Facebook became Meta and there were some things coming out about bad behavior in Facebook and then they changed their name because they're going to focus on the metaverse anyways, whatever. Guess what? It broke 2019 lows pandemic lows and then made an all new low because the company is just treading water and bleeding money and then they're they're doing layoffs so that was the initial rally recently from ninety dollars from eighty eight dollars to a hundred and almost twenty now we're kind of back at 110 so <clears throat> let's see where we go here this candle outside the band this white candle with this little middle candle this big red candle that's um a level up pattern or a W that usually fares well for more upside. And you can see stochastic RSI cross on the weekly and then MACD cross and the histograms are starting to get larger on the weekly chart. So that looks like a good entry um, into meta. I'm not telling you to enter. It is a little sloppy. So let's see if we come back down around 100 before we start to move higher. But this is the time for a Santa Claus rally. So let's check into Ethereum because I know I got some great followers into the cryptocurrency and they like when I review it. So did we break the low this year? No, we didn't yet. We did not break the June low on Ethereum. We got damn close, right? We got to a thousand dollars and we didn't break it. Thousand twenty nine. So just 40, 30, 40 bucks away, 30, 36 dollars away. And we couldn't break that low. So um, right now we're kind of consolidating, trying to figure out if this big, you know, red and white candle are the low. It looks like it's starting to hold here. That looks good. But the weekly is still pointing down and Stoke is working its way to reset. So crypto might have some more to go, but maybe not until next year. So that's very interesting, right? Because if the if the stock market continues to rally, 
um, we will have a rally in crypto because now they're unified and the big banks, Fidelity, JP Morgan just released a, um, a statement or a trademark where it's going to be, um, I don't know what the trademark's exactly, but it maybe say something along the lines of Chase Crypto, Crypto Chase whatever so other banks are getting into crypto and it's here to stay as you can see bitcoin same doing the same thing mirrored as ethereum btc four slash btc is the futures of bitcoin right bitcoin futures um it isn't 24 7 on td ameritrade but it gives you a good enough handle on what the weekly is doing over time so we had that big drop off the ftx scare and now they just today ftx hit bankruptcy court and all the things are coming out where how much he spent on meals $2,500 a day in the Bahamas for his friends and his workers and then a, like a 40 unit condo or whatever 14 unit condo and was all paid for for his employees and friends so we're trying to find out soon what was that money from the investors from the people putting their money in FTX or was it money that FTX was making that were, you know, making those moves? And then he also spent $16 million on a home for his parents. So where was that money coming from, right? So let's, I mean, everyone's calling him a fraud now and they say, oh yeah, we knew it all the time, but did you really know? Not until things blow up like this. So uh, it kind of just comes out of nowhere, but we did know there was a lot of froth and speculation in the overall markets. Um, now we do have the Fed meeting minutes next uh, tomorrow, Wednesday at 2 p.m. Now that's just what happened in November. So there should be a little reaction to it, but it shouldn't be an overreaction. Maybe a few dollar move in Qs and SPY, uh, but nothing too crazy as long as there's no new news on the um, Federal Reserve minutes. Uh, so what they'll do with the rate increases going forward. So on the queues, we kind of had this uh, same thing, this this sell off in the morning and then this little um, going going back up. And the reason I had the 13 is you see this big red candle at 930. Then you see this little mini candle in the middle and then this big white. I would have liked this white candle to be up here, but it didn't make it, but it still worked out to where there was a 3X Stoke didn't get below 20, but it was acceptable because the 55 was moving in the up direction. So I did trade up today, made about $100. Um, and this 13 minute chart, if you just traded this 13, I was in and out of position, just making little chunks here and there. But if you just stayed on this, look how smooth this is, right? I mean, yeah, you probably get out this, this 89 moving average of this top band, but it kind of just kept trailing upwards. And you see the Stoke cross, MACD cross, stayed cross all day, and then it crossed around 150 and then kept going. Um, but yeah, we went from 280, right, was the low, 280.46, all the way up to 286. That's a $6 move um, in intraday. That pays dividends on options for sure, right? A dollar move is $100 on $1,000 with some time on the option. And if you ramp up those contracts or you buy same day, you can really, if you trade with 10, 20, 100 contracts, you can really see thousands of dollars right here on just a $6 move. It was a little choppy and from the last three, four trading days, I wasn't trying to hold it that long with how much chop has been in the market. But today was actually a good day up and SPX closed above 4,000. Let me just show you that real quick. SPX is the S&P 500 actual index. So 4,003, we closed above 4,000 for the first time in a very, very long time. So thank you guys for joining. I appreciate you guys showing up and paying respect and you know, liking the video and watching the video. And I just hope to keep providing value for you guys moving forward. And uh, happy Thanksgiving, early Thanksgiving this week. Peace.